Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Electrical Forensics and we're here to take a little look into this. This is the Susan G. Carmen track phone and Susan G. Carmen is a breast cancer research charity and they've teamed up with a cell phone company and are marketing this cell phone, a pink cell phone for breast cancer and it's an interesting combination because it is well known today that there are problems developing with cell phones and human health particularly regarding cancer and this is the International Agency for Research on Cancer World Health Organization press release number 208 the IARC classifies radio frequency electromagnetic fields as possibly carcinogenic to humans. So it's emerged in recent years that there's issues with cell phones. And uh, that's in line with the extensive health and safety document that they include with this pink breast cancer cell phone. Now I've just run a test on this phone regarding an egg. I put the phone onto an hour long phone call and I put this egg on top of the phone for an hour and then I took a look at it to see what was going on and the egg thickened. So you see on the base there's a bunch of jello like egg stuck to the base and that was where the phone was. So exposing the egg to an hour long phone call from that phone has had a profound effect on the egg that was above it. So it appears that the egg started to cook. Now you can see the evidence of that by it being stuck to the base of the tub. So that's not the only problem that's going on with cell phone radiation. You're probably wondering why these plants are in the picture. Now I have two plants. This is the first one. So gardeners will recognize this as a Diefenbachia. So this is a Diefenbachia plant. It typically has leaves the size of your hand with heavy patterning. Now a few years ago 2011 to be exact. I actually brought a Diefenbachia plant into my home for the first time and I found that it would not grow and I'm going to show you what happened to the Diefenbachia plant that I brought into my home in 2011. So this, believe it or not, is a Diefenbachia. It's the same plant as we just saw and it's very different. So what happens with the Diefenbachia in radio wave fields is it puts up this very spindly retarded growth. It loses all its patterning, it gets shiny leaves and the leaves are very very tiny. And this was consistent with every plant I brought into the home for many years and I complained about a cell phone transmitter on the west antenna tower. I live near to three cell phone towers and I'm now able to grow plants like this and it turned out I think it was sometime in 2014 a wireless radiation transmitter was removed from that west antenna tower and since then I've been able to grow Diefenbachias that look like this. Now anybody who grows the Diefenbachia will realize that these leaves are typically the size of your hand and these are not the size of your hand. They're miniature Diefenbachia leaves but they have all the patterning and it's certainly a lot better than this. So this is what wireless radiation from an antenna cell phone antenna tower does. Now I have no idea what that transmitter was on that tower and currently the US government doesn't want to tell me what that transmitter was that was doing this to my Diefenbachia plants. 
But the reason why I'm showing you this is because there's an overwhelming amount of information today that says wireless radiation is biologically toxic. And if you having health problems, I advise people to get some Dicombachia plants and fill your home with them and see what happens to them. It takes about six months to go from a plant that looks like this to a plant that looks like this when you're in a biologically toxic radio wave field. And I can tell you the whole time that I lived in this home, I bought this home in 2006. And uh, that coincided with the greatest decline in physical and mental health I have ever observed, which was in line with finding that my plants didn't grow right. So not only did it appear to be affecting my plants, but it was also affecting me. So I urge caution with not only cell phones, but also the cell phone transmitter towers. And it's pretty well known to electromagnetic radiation researchers today that not only should you be careful about the cell phone, particularly putting it next to your head, but you should also be careful about the cell phone tower. And the, the cell phone tower, they're typically regarded as being toxic to the general population who live within a quarter of a mile of those towers. And some people report effects about two miles out. So that quarter of a mile is only for guidance. And uh, that's cell phone radiation for you. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.